हेलो स्टूडेंट्स यूट्यूब चैनल शोशो क्लासेस में आपका स्वागत है आज हम इस वीडियो में बीए ए सिक्स सेमेस्टर इकोनॉमिक्स के मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस डिस्कस करने जा रहे हैं नेम ऑफ द पेपर इज इंडियन इकोनॉमी इन क्वेश्चंस को आपके सिलेबस के अकॉर्डिंग ही तैयार किया गया है जैसे आपका पेपर का पैटर्न है वैसे ही सबसे पहले शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन हैं उसके बाद हर एक यूनिट में से लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन तैयार किए गए हैं हर एक यूनिट में से दो लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन आपको आने हैं जिसमें से एक का आपने आंसर देना है जैसे कि आपको पैटर्न का पहले पता ही है कि आपने फिफ्थ सेम तक पेपर दिए हैं सो so, इसके अलावा बाकी सारे सब्जेक्ट्स के भी मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन यहीं पे मिल जाएंगे वहाँ से आप अपने पेपर की तैयारी कर सकते हो इसके अलावा सिलेबस के वीडियो भी यहीं पर मिल जाएंगे सबसे पहले है शॉर्ट क्वेश्चन जिसमें है वट इज़ द नीड ऑफ मिनिमम सपोर्ट प्राइज फॉर एग्रीकल्चर प्रोड्यूस and then name the three sectors relative contribution in national income in descending order at present time and then what is meant by distress sale of agriculture produce and then what is meant by plant holiday and then give two examples for sunrise industries and then why no food security at households level in india and then what is meant by core inflation and then what is the mechanism to devolve financial resources from central government to state and union territories in india and then name the two largest multinational corporation during business in service sector in india and then name the body constituted in the place of planning commission in india and then what is meant by parallel economy and then what is meant by multidimensional poverty and next is what is meant by green revolution and then name two states benefited from green revolution in india and next is what is meant by subsistence cultivation and next is name two central government public sector undertakings and next is name two largest private sector banks in india and then mixed economic system proposed in which industrial policy re resolution and next is name four major exports from india and then name the two largest multinational corporation in india and next is name two indexes to measure inflation in india and then what is the major objective and first five year plan and next is name the new organization came into existence in the place of planning commission in india and next with what is meant by organic farming and then name the two the central government public sector undertakings and then mixed economic system was proposed in which industrial policy resolution and next is what is meant by gst is it direct tax or indirect tax and next what is the role of finance commission and next is features of indian agriculture on the eve of independence and next is what do you understand by land reforms and then land ceiling and next problems of private sector in india and next is privatization and then problems of it industry and next is differentiate between direct and indirect taxes and next import substitution and then main items of imports in india and next mixed economy and then rationale of planning in india and then why do common people not like inflation and next is explain indian economy as a mixed economy and then causes of low productivity in indian agriculture and then consolidation of holdings and next is role of public sector in indian economy and then liberalization and next is difference between cottage and small scale industries and then export promotion and next is principles of federal finance and then give features of mnc's and next causes of poverty in india and next is effects of inflation and then reasons for consumer protection and then give importance of agriculture in indian economy and next is what is intensive agriculture cultural area program and next what are the main characteristics of indian economy and then what are the main problems of industrial development in india and then what are the causes of low profitability in the public sector 
and next is what is the difference between cottage and small scale industries and then what is federal finance and next is what is balance of payment and then what are the trust areas of 12th plan and then what is consumer perfection protection and then what is meant by commercialization of agriculture and then name two central government public sector undertakings and then name two largest public sector banks in india and then what are the two reasons for food insecurity in india and next is name four major import import of by india and then name four large scale industries in india and next is name two largest multinational cooperation in service sector in india and then what is meant by wholesale price index and then what is the major objective of second five year plan and then name the mechanism for distributing financial resources between center and state in india ye the short questions iske baad hai long questions jisme hai unit first ke long question explain the importance of agriculture do you believe that increase in productivity is enough to enhance farmers income and then what are the causes of low productivity in india in indian agriculture give your argument that an increase in productivity is enough to enhance farmers income and then critically evaluate the impact of green revolution with the special reference to environment in india and then explain various components of land reforms in india why land reforms failed in india and then briefly explain the importance of agriculture in india and next is explain various components of land reforms in india and next write the main features of indian economy at the time of independence and next is write the main features of indian economy on the eve of independence and next is what is green revolution what impact it had on indian economy and then what is green revolution discuss its achievements and shortcomings and then what are the main objectives of land reforms and then discuss their implementation in india and next is what are the main objectives of land reforms discuss its achievements and shortcomings and next question is explain agriculture productivity in india suggest measures to increase agriculture productivity in india and then what is the importance of agriculture sector and problems of agriculture sector in india and next question is critically explain green revolution in india ये यूनिट फर्स्ट के लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन थे अब है यूनिट सेकंड के व्हाट आर द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ इंडस्ट्री डेवलपमेंट इन इंडिया एंड देन व्हाट आर द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ स्मॉल स्केल इंडस्ट्रीज इन इंडिया एंड देन एक्सप्लेन द मेन फीचर्स ऑफ 1956 इंडस्ट्रियल पॉलिसी रेजोल्यूशन इन इंडिया एंड देन व्हाट आर द एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ स्मॉल स्केल इंडस्ट्रीज इन इंडिया एंड देन व्हाई आर पब्लिक सेक्टर एंटरप्राइजेस इनकरिंग लूजेस suggest measures for improvement and then explain and critically evaluate industrial policy of 1991 explain and evaluate the industrial policy of 1991 along with the recent changes and then explain the role and problems of small scale industries in india in the present era of globalization and then what are the problems faced by small scale industries in india discuss the steps taken by the government to solve them a next question what are the pro- problems of industrial development in india give suggestions to solve them and then explain the role of private sector in india and then what are the advantages and disadvantages of small scale industries in india ye unit second tha ab hai unit third jisme hai explain the role of multinational corporations in india give your argument that the existence of multinational corporations lead to economic imperialism in india and then critically evaluate the role of multinational corporation corporations in india and then explain the salient features of indian tax system and then explain the main features of indian taxation system suggest my yes to improve it and then explain the division of financial resources between center and states in india what are the reasons for dispute between center and states in sharing financial resources in india 
and then what are the merits and demerits of multinational corporations in India and then what are the causes of defect in balance of payments suggest measures for improvement and then what are the main features of India's foreign trade since independence and then give main features of Indian taxation system what are the main defects of this system and then explain features of Indian taxation system what are its defects and then what is meant by balance of payments what are the causes of adverse balance of payments how is it correlated corrected and then what are the reasons for defect in balance of payments in India suggest measures to reduce the defect and then explain the division of financial resources between center and states in India what are the reasons for dispute between center and states in sharing financial resources in India अब है यूनिट फोर्थ के लॉन्ग क्वेश्चन एक्सप्लेन द अचीवमेंट्स एंड फेलियर्स ऑफ फाइव ईयर प्लान इन इंडिया एंड देन एक्सप्लेन द अचीवमेंट्स एंड फेलियर्स ऑफ इंडियन प्लानिंग सिंस नाइनटीन फिफ्टी वन एंड देन वट आर द मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ इंडियन प्लानिंग डिस्कस द फेलियर्स ऑफ प्लानिंग इन इंडिया एंड देन एक्सप्लेन द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ फाइव ईयर प्लान इन इंडिया गिव योर आर्ग्यूमेंट आर द प्लान अचीव इट्स डिजायर्ड ऑब्जेक्टिव and then what are the achievements and failures of economic planning in india and then what is inflation what are the causes of inflation explain the steps taken by the government to control inflation and then what is extent of poverty in india discuss the main causes of poverty and what are the causes of poverty in india in spite of number of measures taken by the government why property is still existing and then what are the causes of unemployment in india what steps have been taken by the government in recent years to solve this problem explain the causes of unemployment suggest measures to solve the problem and then explain the nature and extent of unemployment in india suggest measures to eradicate the problem of unemployment from india and then what are the causes of educated unemployment in india suggest measures to solve the problems and then explain the objectives of five year plans in india to ment on the achievement of the desired objective and then what are the causes of inflation in india suggest measures to reduce inflation students ye the long and short questions iske alawa baki sare subjects ke aap most important question aur syllabus ke video yahi se dekh sakte ho best of luck thank you so much agar aapko ye punjabi ya hindi medium mein chahiye to comment kar dena उसके अकॉर्डिंग ये वीडियो पंजाबी में भी बना दिया जाएगा और हिंदी मीडियम में भी थैंक यू सो मच